along the way, that happens all the time. Um, it can be really annoying, um, but also it can be an advantage sometimes. I think I think there's three things you've got to you've got to think about when you decide your shot is if you want to draw it, can you draw it? Can you go around? Can you come underneath it? Is adding weight to get under the bowl maybe a better shot to play? And three, basically, if it's really important you get close, is it better to just go straight at the target that you have past the bowl? Or, um, so weighing up how you're playing, whether you're, you're, you're playing better on the draw game, you're playing better on the weighted game, or you're playing better on the drive game. It's really weight, um, weighing that up to understand what actually is going to suit you for the shot, because I believe there's no wrong shot unless you miss. So if you can draw around it and you feel comfortable to draw around it, you draw around it. If you think that coming underneath it with some weight to get, get to the jack or the bowl close to the jack, um, you play that. Or if you find it more comfortable that maybe maybe it's just like you fall down and if you get caught on it and you rock it over and you still fall down, it's just like maybe you should play the just go and rock it up if you're more comfortable with that. So I think deciding on those three things, what weight you're going to play, whether it's a drive or a draw, um, is really important when, you, when you've got a bowl on the way. So, yeah. I guess for me, my biggest thing is just ignoring the bowl, but um, making sure I've got like a clear picture on my in my mind about what I'm doing before stepping on the mat. So kind of like, are you trying to go under around it? But um, yeah, I, I try not to let bowls um, in the way get to me because you know if you're on a if you're on a good rhythm going down that track then um, all you've got to do is try try and miss it but not have that in your head if that makes sense. Um, I know that like some people move to the side on the mat. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you do. I, that's something that I've only recently started trying out, so I don't have I don't know a lot to um, a lot of knowledge to share on that. But yeah, I know that some people can move to the side, and that helps. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's very important to understand where your draw line is yeah. if you are drawing because you'd hate to go down your line and you know it's right in your line. Yeah. So that's understanding actually where is your line from your previous bowls and knowing if you're going to be under or around it and can you still get the result. I mean some bowls can be there and you can't actually get back for the result. Yeah. So it's yeah it's, it's knowing your line. Eh? Yeah I guess training for that too you know if you want to play around with moving on the mat make sure you train it like put a, put a bowl in your way mm. and then see you know see what works for you where your mind goes and what you want to play. Some people can't get out of the head. If, as soon as they think about um, there's bowl in the way, um, as soon as they go to that outcome, then that's what's going to happen. But if, you, if you're confident before stepping on the mat that it's not in my way, it's in the morning, it's just in this bowl, um, then the outcome's going to be better. That's right. Okay.